I once asked a group of young Catholic students what the resurrection of Jesus meant to them personally. And they thought about it for a moment or two, and they came to the conclusion that it didn't really mean very much to them. In fact, it meant a lot more than they realized, but they couldn't see it. For the past week, we have been reflecting and trying to grasp the fact that Jesus is risen, that he is alive, that he is a man, that he is still present with us. For the next six weeks of Easter, we will be trying to deepen our grasp of what all that means in practice for each one of us and for the world. If we think for a moment and we ask ourselves, what does the resurrection of Jesus mean? What did it mean for his disciples? What was their reaction? We see in today's Gospel the first appearance of Jesus to his disciples after his resurrection. And we're told that he came in and he stood among them and he said to them, Peace be with you. And he showed them his hands and his side. And the disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. This was their reaction. They were filled with joy. And that is the fundamental reaction of all of us as Christians, as Catholics. Joy at the resurrection of Jesus. He showed them his hands and his side. He was alive. It was the same Jesus that they knew. And what was the cause of their joy? The fact that he is now alive. The fact that he has conquered death, has destroyed the power of death to hold him and to hold us. He has won the victory over death. He has entered into eternal life and in doing so has opened the way for all of us to enter into eternal life. This is the fundamental cause of our joy. They began to understand so much that he had told them before his death but that had made no sense to them. Now, suddenly, it did make sense. Everything was coming together. Their lives had a purpose. Their lives had a meaning. And so they could face life with confidence and with joy. And throughout their lives, that fundamental joy had to remain with them always. Indeed, as time went on, as the weeks, the months, the years passed, they understood more and more the reason for their joy, the depth of their joy. Indeed, the church would spend the next 2,000 years trying to explore the power and the mystery of the resurrection of Jesus, what it means for us, and all the time calling us to an ever deeper joy. At morning prayer in the church, every day, the prayer begins, Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Everything in our lives is rooted in that fundamental joy. Of course, we have suffering, we have failure, 
we have rejection, we have disappointment, we have pain, we have all of those things. But the fundamental thing overriding those and giving us the strength in those sufferings is our joy, our joy in the resurrection of Jesus. Each one of us now has to ask himself, herself, what does the resurrection of Jesus mean for me personally? Have I really grasped the fact that Jesus is alive, that he is still a man? Have I grasped what that means for me as an individual person, that I am destined for eternal life, that my life has meaning and purpose, a meaning and purpose that I never even dreamt of before. In our world today, there is a desperate need for joy, not just for joy, but for a real cause of joy, for a solid cause of joy. We have to let that joy shine out in our own lives. It's not a clappy, happy kind of joy. It is a deep-rooted, a deep-set joy, a confidence in God's love and God's mercy a confidence that we are called to eternal happiness with God. And once we have that clear in our minds, then we can face anything. But all the time, we have to be trying to deepen our understanding of the cause of our joy and the immense joy that Jesus has brought into the world with his resurrection.